So there are other ways to create uh, sequences. And so I just want to show you a couple things about uh, creating the sequences that way so that you can uh, see why we do the things that we do. Uh, if I create a new sequence by clicking on this uh, original movie file and then dragging it down to the new item, it will create the new sequence, and that's fine, but look at the name. It's uh, pulling the name of the sequence from my original movie file. And if I keep this as my uh, sequence as we go through, it, things are going to start to get confusing. You can rename files by selecting them and then typing in a new name. But uh, just in terms of file hierarchy, then these, you know, this has to be moved out because uh, it's not part of our original media. It's a sequence, and uh, things start to get a little, a little clunky. Um, one of the other problems with creating a file that way is that if you get in the habit of that and uh, you're working with a media clip that is not the frame rate or the uh, frame size of what you want your final video to be, you can actually um, end up creating something that is uh, not with the parameters that you're actually wanting for your final video. And that's, uh, that's a much bigger headache. So always a good idea to create the uh, sequence using this uh, new item or the file and new sequence or command N so that you can have a handle on the settings from the very beginning. So that's just what we're talking about in terms of best practices there.